I'm Dawn. I'm an energy efficiency engineer. What that really means is that it's a fancy term for helping people save energy in their daily lives. And rather than working uh, with people on an uh, individual level, I work um, a little higher above and I work with groups of people to help them figure out ways to save energy in residential homes when they build it and in schools, for example. The idea is that we don't want people to change the way they have to live their lives, but at the same time not be wasteful in the energy that they use. We're here in Montgomery County, Maryland at Red Wiggler Farm. This is the University of Maryland 2005 Solar Decathlon House. Let me introduce you to some of the energy efficient features that we have on the house. One of the main ones are the sol solar photovoltaic panels that we have here. Solar photovoltaics, now that's a big word and I can't even really say it. But what that really means is solar panels and you probably have already heard of that. Um, what it does is it takes the sun's rays, converts it to electricity, and then powers the rest of the house. Now let's look at some of the other energy efficient features on the house. The tubes have the same concept as the solar PV arrays, but what they do is they convert the sun's rays into hot water that then provides the hot water for the rest of your house. Now this is the electricity meter and if you look closely, it's actually moving backwards. This house started off at 0000 and it went to 9900 and now 98 etc. And what that means is that it's producing more electricity than we're using at this house. And that excess electricity is going back to the electricity grid. And some other house that's connected to it is using our free energy. It's important to look for renewable energy because uh, we're really running out of the limited resources like the oil that we have on Earth. Um, so we need to find other sources that also are not detrimental, uh, are not harmful to our environment. Welcome inside the house. Uh, this is the kitchen here. Let me show you around. The kitchen is one of the main places that uses a lot of energy inside of the house. And what we wanted to consider in designing this kitchen was how to be more energy efficient. Now, what is energy efficiency? I do it every day in my job as an energy efficient engineer. Energy efficiency just means using less energy, um, but also still maintaining the way that you normally live. So for example, this refrigerator here, as in all of the appliances inside of our house, um, uses less energy, and you know that because it's rated by Energy Star. And over here, we have an induction cooktop. Now this is really cool. How it's different is that instead of having heat elements or burners like you would in a normal stovetop, it's got a magnetic element inside, and once you turn it on, that element actually heats up the pot that's on top of the stove. So rather than having a heat element that then transfers the heat to the pot and then to the material inside, the pot itself is the heat element. So eliminating that one source of heat loss and heat is a form of energy as we know. One of the cool things that you can do with this that you can't do with a normal stovetop is put a sheet of paper in between the burner and the kettle. Still heat the water inside and not burn the paper. Now let me take you into the closet over here. This is actually the backbones behind all of the solar systems that you saw earlier. Here we have a hot water tank that actually houses all of the hot water that was produced from the solar tubes that you saw earlier. And one of the reasons why this is so big, it might be bigger than what you normally see in your own house, is because that it also supplies the water that runs through the floor in pipes that then ultimately heat the rest of the house. Um, that's actually called radiant flooring. Up here we have all of the wires from the solar panels coming down and they're actually combined into three separate sections that then run down into the electrical system inside of the house. The electrical system then separates the electricity or the power into three separate sources. It's either to the electrical grid, um, to the battery bank, or to the rest of the house to be used to power the appliances that I just showed you. I didn't decide to be an engineer probably till the very last minute. <laughs> so if you're a middle schooler and you don't know what you want to do with your life, don't be scared. <laughs> it's okay. I definitely recommend doing something like this because number one, it's very rewarding. It's something that I can relate to every day. I go back home and I know that I'm using less energy and ultimately that relates to protecting the environment. Um, and also it's just something that I truly believe in and it's nice to know that what I do actually relates to something that I'm passionate about so every day when I go into work I actually love it. From my experience I know that they're just looking for people out there to do the, these jobs. I know um, from some statistics that I read that um, environmental engineering is actually one of the hottest fields that are coming up now and there's just people looking for these kids out there, kids that are going to be going into college in a few years.